Hey, my name is Ben Salstrom. Today I want to just talk a couple minutes about a fused versus non-fused disconnect for a piece of equipment, uh, particularly air conditioners or heat pumps, uh, that sort of piece of equipment. So in front of me here I've got two disconnects and as you can probably guess, one is fused and one is non-fused. This one here on the right is a 30 amp disconnect and it is fused and the way you can tell that if you have a fused disconnect is that you have four terminals usually like this with space for you to be able to snap a fuse in. Can I have one? Hey. Thank you. Yeah. So you take your fuse here and you snap it in place like that. You know that one? And now you have a connection made through from on those terminals. So that is a fuse disconnect. And over here, we have a non-fuse disconnect. Now, as you can see, this has no sp space for you to put a fuse. And so, therefore, normally the fuse would be, be between here and here, or here and here. But this is non-fused. So, as to whether or not you need a fused or non-fused disconnect when you're putting one in, uh, my recommendation typically would be don't get a fuse disconnect because you're going to have at your breaker panel a overcurrent protection device. In this case, a 30 amp breaker on a 10-2 wire. And so that will adequately protect the equipment and the wire all the way leading from the equipment to your service panel or your service entrance panel. So my recommendation is go with the more basic and don't worry about getting a disconnect with fuses because if because it's just kind of doubly protecting your equipment. There are certain cases where uh, a fuse disconnect is required, but typically you should be fine to go with a non-fused disconnect. So, hope this helped you. If it did, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe for more awesome, super fun and exciting topics like wiring your air conditioner. Talk to you later.